okay here i am showing uh, the continuation of the ellipse okay so i have drawn all the curves you know how to draw these curves 1 to 1 1 as radius focus center 2 to 1 as radius focus center 3 3 1 as radius focus center cut the curves and indicate all the points okay indicate all the points uh, with any uh, letters uh, means uh, p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 like that okay like that uh, highlight these points and just join them you will get a smooth curve so here, here i am drawing uh, uh, with the pen uh, for clarity purpose but you do, draw with the uh, pencil and join them with a smooth curve join them all the points with a smooth curve so it should be a very smooth curve and uh, you should not draw double stroke remember that point okay uh, indicate all the points this is the uh, eccentricity method uh, to draw the ellipse and uh, how to draw the tangent and normal uh, generally they will give the distance from the directrix they will give the distance from the directrix this is the directrix right so here even you even you have to write this as directrix in exam you have to show like this this is the directrix and this is the axis like that you have to write even and uh, indicate the point from the directrix indicate point from the directrix at 40 mm at a 40 mm so here to here how much distance it will be 30 because the here to here it is total 50 focus up to focus 50 here to here it is 30 so you come down like this you have to check with the drafter where you are getting 40 so at this point we are getting 40 so this is the 40 point this is the 40 point okay indicate point tangent or normal I am uh, tangent or normal to draw tangent or normal indicate point indicate point from directrix indicate point from directrix join to focus join to focus join to focus draw perpendicular draw perpendicular to directrix draw perpendicular to directrix and uh, then draw tangent and then draw tangent very simple very simple first indicate the point join to the focus i told you to join to the focus so here it is the focus so join to the focus i have joined to the focus now draw perpendicular draw perpendicular to what to this line exactly perpendicular line how you will draw the exactly perpendicular by using drafter you can draw by using drafter set the drafter to this line and draw the perpendicular okay perpendicular on to the directrix perpendicular on to the directrix so you here you will get the intersecting point if you join these two points if you join these two points if you join these two points you will get the tangent so tangent dark and if you draw a perpendicular to the tangent at this point we have to draw at where we have to draw we have to draw at the given point so if you draw perpendicular to this if you draw perpendicular to this you will get the normal so here even if, even you have to write here this is tangent this is normal okay again i am repeating first indicate the point from the directrix join to the focus for this line draw the perpendicular onto the directrix you will get intersecting point if you join these two points you will get the tangent if you draw perpendicular at this point with drafter you will get the normal okay and also after indicating all the don't forget to indicate all the points after indicating all the points you have to show the dimensions don't forget to indicate the dimensions then only you will get full marks so you have to indicate the dimensions what are what the dimensions you have to indicate means given dimensions in the problem what are the dimensions are given you have to indicate in the solution so what is the dimension is given 50 dimension is given that 50 is directrix to focus this is the focus so focus to directrix outside of the dimensions you have to take the dimension like this so this is how much 50 and also we have to indicate 
the other dimension that is 40 so 40 which dimension tangent or normal dimension so here we have to show the dimension as 40 this is a this as 40 okay this has 40 so two dimensions only given in the problem we have indicated what about uh, eccentricity 2 by 3 so here you have to take eccentricity small e eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 B below of the diagram eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 less than 1 and even you have to write here ellipse ellipse in lettering not in your own writing you have to write with the lettering lettering means same size capital letters Okay. Furtherly, if you have any doubt, you just comment to this uh, below video. I will clarify your doubts. Okay. Right.